Uh, Gox back in the kitchen with his favourite feel-good dish. Um, so uh, we'll talk about what you're cooking in a moment, but why did you shout golden chopsticks at me? <laughs> because, <laughs> because, well, because I like you, Thank and you. so I would shout that at you. <laughs> um, so the Golden Chopsticks Awards is the this country's largest Oriental food awards. I'm the, one of the co-founders. We created it three years ago. The first one was last year. In our second year this year, it's happening in a month's time, on the 29th, uh, we've had over 20,000 public votes. Wow. For the best Oriental food. So whether it's a pop-up restaurant, whether it's a a takeaway, um, it can be anything, food supplier. And, and it's it is judged by the one and only. Judged by the one and only Ken Hom. Amazing. Absolutely, he's our head judge. We've got Gizzy Erskine, who's amazing. We've got Ching, who is a regular on this yeah, show yeah. as well. Uh, Simon Rimmer. The biggest names in Asian food are there celebrating Where food. Where is it? Where is that? And it's at the Marriott in, in Mayfair on lovely. the 29th, which I'm very proud of. How about. lovely. So we're going to cook a fusion uh, food today to celebrate Oriental food, a food from the Orient. So we're doing a laksa now, which is a Peranakan dish. Uh, and Peranakan is a subculture in Asia, which is where the Chinese immigrants hit Malaysia, created their own subculture called the Baba Nonyas, and they had this amazing, beautiful food. It's incredible. It's one of my favourites. So we're going to make a laksa, which is essentially a coconut uh, soup, and then you, Philip, are going to do a Chinese cold slaw, mm. a sin-free cold no slaw, all, uh, which has got all the beautiful flavours of this in, and it's a nice crunch with that. So... You'll, you'll, so. Be, you'll be telling me what to do, though. Absolutely. It's basically, <laughs> throw it in and just add your seasoning. But we have got all of our ingredients here. So our fresh ingredients, we've got galangal, which is a type of... Get in there. Galangal? The galangal, which is a type of ginger. ginger. Oh! That one just there. We've got We've got fresh ginger, we've so you got need garlic. Both. Do you know what? Galangal has a slightly more perfumed flavour. Right, so what okay. we're doing, as you can smell, this studio, right, you won't be able to smell it at home, obviously, but mm. it's so fragrant from all of these ingredients. I always think it tastes like pine furniture. Do you, you think? You into pine furniture. That's what I've never done that before. Maybe I need to try that. <laughs> I need to go down to a homeware store. Yeah. Or do, um, oh, yeah, it does. Uh, it does. It's like a dining room chair. Does it? Does, I've it never does done that. smell it, like almost polishy. Oh my God, you're right. I've never known that. Ever in my life. I'm, a, I'm a terrible Chinese chef. Uh, we've got lemongrass, which is one of my favourites. Find it in loads of Thai food. We've got turmeric, which is amazing for you. And we've got some curry powder. So, let's get this on. Bit of oil. A lot of people think that Asian food is really, really fattening. But actually, we use minimum oil. We want it to be nice and fresh. Whilst you're doing that, shall I make this? Yeah, throw all the veg in. Yeah. Here's your seasoning. Soy sauce. We've got some rice wine vinegar, sesame oil, caster sugar and some sesame seeds. So just flavour it to taste. So, hot wok. Hot wok. We're gonna Smoky a, smoke. That's going to be really hot now. Oh, too okay, hot. Watch your dress, your gorgeous dress. So, what We're have you got in here? In. So this has got gal and gal, ginger, garlic. And you want it to slightly catch, lemons. don't you? You want it to burn through slightly. Slightly. Ever so slightly. You want it to caramelise. Then, once that's through, I've taken it off these, it's very hot. I'm going to put in some turmeric. Now, if oh. you've ever tried to use powdered seasoning. Now, sometimes it tastes really powdery when you've finished it. You right. know, the difference between a curry at home and a curry in a restaurant. Cook it out? You've got to cook it through the oil. Right. So cook it through, all the way through at the bottom. Is that just normal curry powder? Uh, that's a Malaysian curry powder, which is slightly different. It's got a slightly more Malaysian mm. flavours through, but you can use any one, it's fine. And you do this to taste, and once you've made this a couple of times, you can work out what you want in there. Mm. Now, you would normally let that cut for probably about a minute, a minute and a half. Yeah. But I'm going to run through. Uh, a vegetable stock. Yeah. We, this is a vegetarian version we're doing, but a traditional laxa would have in chicken, prawns... You can so you could throw use chicken in. stock if you're going to yeah. go chicken? Absolutely. I normally do this on a Monday after a roast dinner. I add all the oh. stuff from the roast dinner, all that's left over. Light coconut milk from What's its light? skin. It's a, it's a fat-free. Uh, it's not okay. completely fat-free, but I like it to be slightly lighter. Do I don't like my laxes to be really heavy. It's a really light lunch dish. And actually, in parts of Malaysia, you would have this for breakfast as well, mm. which is delicious. So your tin of coconut milk How goes How do you get in. over there? Have you made... Your, can I try it? Hmm? Can Are I you, try? I love that you've just gone. It's not quite it. right yet. It needs more vinegar. Let me try that. How do you know? More vinegar and it needs more caster sugar. So I haven't put that in yet. Oh, haven't you? That's why. It definitely needs some of that in then. So with, with Asian food, Oriental food, it's all about yin and yang. So yin and yang is the two halves: salt and sweet. So what we're trying to do is find that balance at the moment. Between so when you two. bite into it, you get a little bit of everything mm. in there. So you let the sweat look at down. That now that looks so good already. Doesn't look gorgeous. <gasps> Now, we're going to add in kefir lime leaves. Right. So smell these. You can get them at all supermarkets. Mmm. Isn't that gorgeous? Fresh. Yes, yeah, smell that, Philip. Super fresh. Can you... You can buy those mm. sort of things frozen now, can't you? All frozen. And do you know what? Every single massive supermarket has normally got a around-the-world section. Yeah. So you're going to get all of this stuff. I would say where you can buy fresh, buy fresh, because it's always going to taste better. Right. If you have to get freeze-dried, then it's absolutely then fine. Then why not? Minute and a half, chef. You've got a minute and a half. OK, come in. 
Oh. Tomatoes. Oh. oh. What's oh. he done? Oh, a little bit more soy. A bit more soy. Really? Yeah, more just soy. to take out some of that uh, vinegar. Oh, okay, I like so the vinegar. I like now, it. we're going to add in... <laughs> that's enough, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. We're now going to add in our tofu. And our tofu has been pre-fried. So angry. <laughs> What's the point in me You've making done... it? You've done a great job. Honestly, you've done a great job. We're going to whack in a couple of chilies. You've got all your ingredients wow. now, including that tofu. You're going to bring it to the boil. You'll probably let this sit for maybe around seven, eight minutes. But yep. we don't have the time for that, so we're just going to dish it up. OK. Okay, let's okay dish so it up. we've got our salad just there. Can I give you that one, Holes? Yes, yes. Thanks, gorgeous. I'm going to chop some coriander. Do you put uh, noodles are the noodles in supposed it? to be yeah, in this? Over there. They're not in here, are they? No. So that's just yeah. You're dressing. How it long have we got? I'm going to rush. We've got thirty seconds. Before. Okay, so noodles are in like this. They go into your dish. You've got your salad out. I'm going to go and get my wok. I'm coming Can I over. Help you? I've got the ladle. Here we go. We've run out of time. We've run out of time. I OK, wanna... here we go, here we go. We've got it, we've got it. And then we get this in here. I'm going to have a taste. And this here. is your laxa oh, going... noodle soup. Which looks... We just, won't, we just won't say what's on tomorrow's show. Involved. You'll just have to tune in to find there out. There go. Tell me what you think. And I'm going to put oh my that gosh. on God. top. Isn't that absolutely amazing? Yes, it tastes right. like um, it's... Heaven really in a bowl. That's why I called it the bowl of love and happiness. It is, it because does. This, it's like a cuddle in a bowl. This is exactly what Asian food should be. It should be about celebrating everyone eating from the same dish and then going and getting hammered afterwards. <laughs> Perfect. That's so naughty. And I'm going to um, try mm. a bit of your coleslaw as well in a minute. Okay. We yeah. have taken it right up to the <laughs> wire. We, <have> <laughs> we love you lots. We'll see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.